Well, big things are going on uh, here in the ministry, and I'm excited to share with you that this is a special weekend at Rock Bottom, our uh, home for men who are in addiction recovery, a sobriety house. And we have several of them now, but this is where all the ministry kind of hastens from, and we are opening a new ministry center. We've put a ton of time and energy into dedicating the place where the men are going to have Bible studies, where the men are going to have personal counseling, where we're going to have our Saturday night Bible study, and we're launching uh, tomorrow at uh, 4 o'clock, 620 Big Timber, and a new friend of mine uh, is here. And he's going to be giving a powerful testimony about how God set him free from alcohol, about how we found Jesus Christ personally. This is Mike Jeminski. And uh, Mike uh, played uh, 14 years in the NBA after being one of only four men having his number retired from Duke University. And uh, he really is an NBA legend, a commentator now for many years in the SEC conference. And uh, Mike, but you came to the place in your life where uh, alcohol kind of had a grip on you, right? Uh, I, was, I was in a dark place, James, and uh, a lot of tragedy, no more so than anybody else has experienced in their life. And it's how we react to those and the choices we made. I made some very bad choices. Right. Uh, I relied on alcohol to save me instead of Christ. Yeah. And uh, I fortunately uh, came to came to Christ and came to recovery coming up on three years ago, and it's changed my life. Three years sober, it's a big deal, right? Yeah, it's uh, and it's amazing. I've, I've taken things one day at a time. I, I've stayed present, I've stayed in the moment, Yet, uh, here I am three years later, and I look back, and I can't believe how far I've come. Well, here's a man, i got to tell you, and um, I'm sorry if this seems self-flattering, but i got to just say, this guy's been in God's Word. And through uh, a special uh, connection, uh, someone put him on to my teaching. He opened up a notebook today that had page after page after page. I wouldn't even want to guess how many pages filled with notes. And then this day, and then this day. And he has been putting his mind into the Word of God. The Scripture says that faith comes by hearing the Word of God. Anyone who knows anything about recovery knows that you have to depend on something greater than yourself. Uh, a lot of them call it a higher power. Yep. And, and you know, for, and Jane, you, you talked about it that we're waiting for Christ to show up. He was always there. Yeah. For me, he was he was waiting on me right. to see him. Right, Amen. And he, he never left me. Yeah. And I finally, I saw him and, and I embraced yeah. him. Yeah, that's just awesome. I love that idea of embracing Christ by faith for your forgiveness. Well, Mike is a powerful testimony. He had some people that did intervene in his life and get his attention. And the story of just what his son did for him just made my wife and I cry today when we heard it. It's so, so powerful. So if you look at it, if you know somebody who's struggling with addiction, if you know somebody who wants to be see what we're doing in our ministry here, it's all going to come down tomorrow uh, at 4 o'clock at 620 Big Timber in Elgin. I'm not going to have him give away anymore, but let me tell you, this is a very special brother in Christ. One time he was uh, when he was actively playing, he was among the 50 uh, best basketball players in the whole world. He has lots of reasons to be prideful, but God allowed his circumstances to humble him, and he's living in victory today uh, over alcohol, the victory that only Christ can really provide. And if you know someone who needs that message or you want to be encouraged by it, we'd love to see you come out here tomorrow at uh, 4 o'clock, 620 Big Timber here in Elgin. You'd be welcome. God bless.